Mali is one of the largest countries in West Africa, with a population of 17 million people. Despite exporting cotton and other resources, the country remains one of the world's poorest, with more than half of its population living with less than $1.25 a day. Access to water, sanitation and hygiene remain a concern for a large number of people. Only 65% of Malians have access to an improved water source, while 22% have access to decent sanitation facilities. There is a huge disparity between urban and rural areas. The sanitation situation is even worse. 83% of people lack access to decent toilets and 15% still practice open defecation. Access to water, sanitation and hygiene is also a challenge for healthcare facilities. In 2015, only one healthcare centre in three had access to wash services. Waste management is also an issue, especially in healthcare centres, where medical waste is poorly managed at the expense of public health. The increase in population and urbanisation is responsible for the increased demand for safe water, decent sanitation and hygiene facilities in urban areas. Despite improved access to water, some cities still face acute water shortages. Good waste management is further challenged by the lack of equipment and infrastructure. Although water, sanitation and hygiene remain a concern, there is room for hope. The government has worked hard to increase access and the sector sits as a priority in the country poverty reduction paper. Since 2002, the WASH sector was reorganized with several new policies, including the National Water Policy and the National Sanitation Policy. Since 2000, Water Aid supports about 1,000 people annually to gain access to clean water, decent sanitation and hygiene services by working with local partners and influencing policymakers to improve governance. In rural areas, our efforts in raising awareness on open defecation risks have led villages to adopt the community-led total sanitation approach. We set up and train local committees on how to maintain water facilities. We built the skills of local and municipal officers to improve their capacity and accountability to their fellow citizens. Provision of water, sanitation and hygiene in healthcare facilities is critical to deliver quality, people-centered care services. A three-year project is currently underway to support sustainable access to clean water, sanitation and hygiene for about 66,000 people in health clinics in the rural districts of Koro and Bla. In partnership with the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, and with financial support from the Hilton Foundation, WaterAid also provides services in urban areas and creates an enabling environment for collaboration among sector players. To improve health and education outcomes, WaterAid Mali has worked together with UNICEF and other non-governmental organizations to scale up WASH in schools throughout the country. WaterAid has designed a concept called Tonti Nterini aimed at improving the information and awareness of teachers and school children on menstrual hygiene. WaterAid also develops projects that include WASH in poverty eradication efforts. But poverty cannot be eradicated without empowering women. Gender inequalities are profound and result in lower life expectancy, education and income for women. WaterAid offers training as well as micro-loans to promote income-generating activities linked to access to clean water, sanitation and hygiene. 
water, sanitation and hygiene promotion often fail to reach the poorest and most marginalized people. Water Aid will continue to be actively involved with developing the sanitation and water for all engagements in the country. The organization will continue to support stakeholders from the civil society to amplify the voice of citizens and right holders. Water Aid will tackle and challenge the inequalities preventing the poorest and most marginalized from realizing their rights to water, 